Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, the elect of Yahweh Shai. As always, Kal Halal, Wahua Allah, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baha, Rechaha Kodash, double honor to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations goes out to the Bayath Shah Dawada, which is the house of David, beginning with the 144,000 of the governing body. Adwan Ratazar, that is to say, Lord willing, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. So, uh, hey Amen. See the Lord visiting the earth with uh, with floods, tempests, storms, all right, and in particular, you know, South Florida in America. So this is an article from NBC News, man. Okay, and this was dated June the twelfth, two thousand twenty-four. The hope for years, Jacob's trouble, and uh, let's see if we can go ahead and play this uh, little clip right here. Slamming down in Martin County, Florida, while about a hundred miles south, chaos on the roads near Miami Beach. The cars are floating, and the, the water is so high right now. On this iconic highway, vehicles swamped by flooding. How would you describe the conditions right now? Very bad. Arm. Another round of vicious rain battering the state for hundreds of miles, canceling flights and delaying travelers. I'm going to miss all my connection flights. With life-threatening flash flood warnings popping up from Miami-Dade to Broward. There was a lot of rain, a lot of rain. We, yes, we, had, we to had to stop and walk because we couldn't see from the, from the rain. Florida's notorious flood problems re-emerging, even as Miami Beach has recently raised some of its roads for drainage, but the porous limestone underground is an issue. Well, it creates something we call compound flooding, um, where the water is coming from underneath. You may see it uh, percolate up through storm drains. When you add rainfall on top of that, there's really there's nowhere for the water to go. And this is only the middle stretch of a week of rain. You can see cars are being towed behind me all over the place. Are we going to move a car up on the garage so that we can stay here? Because I know it's not safe to go out the street either. The challenge now, what still lies ahead in the days to come. And Sam, as I mentioned at the top of the broadcast, this will be around for a while. Look, Lester, parts of South Florida have already seen more than a foot of rain from North Dade, where I am, all the way out to Fort Lauderdale. And as you suggest, we have at least four to eight inches more expected by the end of the week. And Lester, it only takes six inches to stall out a car, something many people right now are discovering tonight. All right, Sam Brock, thank you. See? So you see that, man? That's the judgment of, from the Lord Yahweh Bashim al man. All that heavy rainfall, these floods, okay? This is all, it's the, all, it's the Lord doing all this, okay? Let's go to the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 24, okay? And then, you see, these, these people, man, these people that walk the earth, man, especially in Babylon, the great America, are wicked, man, okay? So this, this is um, just and deserving, all right, for the Lord to punish the, the inhabitants of the earth, man, okay? So expect, you know, soil erosion and things like that, okay? Environmental damages, different env environmental damages, all right? Okay. You know. <clears throat> Let's go to uh, Amos 5, verse 24. And it reads, But let judgment run down as waters, just like we saw, all right? And righteousness as a mighty stream, okay? <clears throat> and Exodus chapter 15, verse 3 says that the Most High is a man of war, all right? The Lord is his name, okay? And this is just one of his judgments. All right, of the Lord by, you know, by flooding, okay, flooding towns and counties and cities. All right, hell, look at the great flood, which was the first death, okay, where the entire globe, man, that was flooded with water, okay, with everybody perishing, all right, except for eight souls, all right, you know, consisting of Noah and, you know, his wife and his sons and their wives, okay, you know. Everyone in the ark survived, including, you know, <clears throat> including the animals in the ark. Everyone out, every living thing outside of the, of the ark perished, died. Okay. Let's get the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6, and that reads, You shall be visited of Ha'adawan Yahweh Tazabawaf, right, meaning Lord of Armies, 
right? Heavenly Father of armies, with thunder and with earthquake, in great noise, with storm and tempest, and the flame of devouring fire. All right, and that's what we see. Okay, you know, people's vehicles damaged. Right, people can't get can't go to work or come back from work. Right, people's vehicles being stuck. Right, can't commute. So hey, you know, their lives are disrupted. Okay, power outages. Right, heavy winds may blow the tree to knock down at a power line pole, you know, things like that, okay, the Lord is judging man, the Lord will protect, you know, his elect wherever they are, okay, <clears throat> we'll go to the chapter before it, Isaiah chapter 28 verse 2, and it reads, behold, the Lord hath a mighty and strong one, which is the tempest of hail, and a destroying storm, with a flood of mighty wars overflowing, and then we certainly saw all that overflowing man, all right, Shall cast down to the earth with the hand. You see? The people wailing in, in, in high waters. Okay? Things of that nature. So it's only going to get worse, man. You know, we've got hurricane season out there too. As well. Let's get uh, Psalm chapter 9, verse 16. And that reads, The Lord is known by the judgment which he executeth. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. He guy in Salah. See? The Lord is known by the judgment which he executeth, man. Okay? <laughs> and that's what we see right now. Okay? But these people, they're not going to consider the law. They're not going to consider, oh, I want, you know, I wonder why this is happening. Okay? They're not going to consider things like that. You see? They're just going to on, go on about their, you know, their everyday lives. All right? Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 5 it says the just Lord is in the midst thereof he will not do iniquity every morning doth he bring his judgment to light he fails not but the unjust knoweth no shame that's right man okay every morning doth he bring his judgment to light man see the Lord does not do iniquity okay <laughs> you know and the Lord is punishing Babylon the great man body shots man you know pestilences okay you know, like famines all right of course, different, you know, you've got tornadoes and, and the hailstorms, all right, everything, okay, the Lord is judging America, man, all right, you know, that, that's fantastic news for us, that's great, you see, let's get uh, Psalms again, chapter 90, verse 11 and it reads who knoweth the power of thine anger even according to thy fear so is thy wrath that's right man who knoweth the power of thine anger even according to the fear of thy fear so is thy wrath you get that in the nlt version and it reads <clears throat> who can comprehend the power of your anger your wrath is as awesome as the fear you deserve and that's why you know the fear of the lord is important man okay the fear of the lord is very important Okay. You see, and, and th these people, man, they, they don't know the God of the Bible. You see, they just think God is all love, all right, and things like that. Or he'll never, you know, <laughs> he'll, he, he could never, uh, you know, send send uh, you know hailstorms and, and and floods. Oh no, that's not the that's not my Jesus. That's not God. That, that's not the God I know. Or well, you're sadly mistaken. Okay. Because scripture says in Hebrews 10, verse 31, which reads, It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Yahweh me, Ashrai. Because who can deliver you out of the hands of the Lord, man? Okay? You can't escape that. You see? What can these emergency services do? Um, apart from, you know, just try and help people get out of... Uh, uh, you know these these uh, sticky situations. They can't stop the the, the clouds, all right. They can't stop. <clears throat> now we know you know these devils have you know these their weather patterns and things like that. But they they don't have <clears throat> you know the ability to. Um, they don't have the, the the ability to 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 control the weather on the level that the Lord can, all right. 
So again, man, it's, it's the Lord doing all this, man. Tsunamis, all right? He creates light and forms that, uh, he, in fact, let me get that. Isaiah 45 and 7. Right, start from verse 5. I am the Lord and there is none else. There is no power beside me. I girded thee, thou, though thou hast not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord and there is none else. That's right. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. That's right. So it's Yahweh, Shem, Yashar, doing all these things, man. Okay. And then Satan works for the Lord on the left-hand side. Okay. And it's the physical counterpart for the spiritual demon Satan is Esau, the so-called W-H-I-T-E, man. Okay. <clears throat> you know, so he gets his orders from the spiritual demon Satan, and the spiritual demon Satan gets his orders from the Most High. Okay, <clears throat> so you know, even Satan's in order, all right. But ultimately, it's all coming from the Lord. He does all these things, all right. Let's get a precept. Amos chapter three, and verse six reads: Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord has not done it? Surely the Lord Power, Yahweh, will do nothing but he reveals his secret unto his servants, the prophets. That's right. Okay. So where does evil in the city, man? It's the Lord that's, that's done it. Okay. <coughs> you, you couldn't you try to tell a Christian this or get them to break it down, man. They, they, they couldn't. Okay. They wouldn't accept this whatsoever. All right. So expect more earthquakes, more storms, right? Even more pestilences, more animal attacks. All right. Because the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. The wicked vibration is being pushed. You see? So, perilous times are coming. And the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. Okay? Even in that little segment, you had flights cancelled. In that video segment, right? Travel delays. You see? Hey, so many, many things are, are disrupted. Right? So, hey, man, that, that's, that's the Lord. You know, and if you're in, if you're not in, if you're in the right spirit, man, you'd be rejoicing. Okay. Because all these people could do is maybe prepare for something like this, but they can't stop nothing like this. They can't stop the judgment of the Lord. All right. So, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.